and the hurricane is expected to get even stronger as it makes its way towards the Florida Gulf Coast. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres is working for you live this morning with what you can do if the storm has impacted your travel plans. Yeah, the storm could prompt travel problems and significant airline delays are possible for flights in and out of the region for the next two days. Unfortunately, extreme weather events like hurricanes are outside of airlines control, so travelers should not automatically expect a full refund in their, if their flight is canceled or significantly delayed. Airlines have varying policies, so as a traveler, you need to make sure you read the fine print carefully. The good news is right now some airlines have been offered people flight waivers. These flight waivers can help you leave a few days earlier or after your previously booked flights. Essentially, if they know that weather is coming and they know that it's probably going to impact some flights in a certain area. Usually a few days before that, you'll get a travel waiver notice from your airline that says you can for free of charge, you can change your flight to any day within this certain time. Some airports like Tampa International closed all commercial airline traffic at midnight last night and they will remain closed until they can assess any damage after the storm passes. But other airports in the state of Florida have not announced any closures as they continue to monitor the storm. If you do have any travel plans, AAA advises you to check to see if you've received the flight waiver to rebook your flight, and they want you to turn on alerts on your phone to stay ahead of the storm. Working for you this morning, Melissa Torres, 22 News.